So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and use Photoshop Express. Now, luckily for you, this is a pretty basic application to use. It's basically the built-in Photoshop, not built-in, but it's a you know Photoshop application that you can use on your iPhone, Android, or whatever other device. So to get started, you want to go ahead and just download it. This is what the application looks like. You can go and open it up. Now, this is what it's going to look like the very first time you open it up. So you can go through and just click on Next. And if there's any options where it allows you to just enable things, you want to give it access to your photos. So you can just keep clicking Next here. It's kind of an annoying process. For notifications, you can enable or disable it. You can log in with either your Google account or your Apple account or Facebook. In this case, I'll just log in with my Apple account. So as you can see, I am logging in and then it says mobile app usage, whatever, click continue. And then you can specify if you want to buy a plan. You can also click the X in the top right corner just to exit out of it. Now in this case, you want to allow access to all photos or you can allow access to a limited amount of photos if you want to. And then you'll see all your photos up here. Now, what you can do here is you can bring in a photo. So let's say I want to go ahead and bring in this photo right here of this lamppost. I can go and tap on this photo and there's like tons of different pop-ups that keep happening. But essentially, this is what the layout looks like. So at the top, you'll have a back button. You'll have these quick edit buttons up here. This button up here allows you increase or decrease the amount of basically like the, you know, the brightness of a photo, which is nice. You can also go through and you can go ahead and basically click on this edit button right here if you want to, to auto enhance the photo. You can also turn that off right there too. You can download this photo and you can share this photo out immediately within the photo. Click on the three dots up there if you want to restore the photo to original image information and your account info at the bottom. Now here is where you have a few different types of you know of premium filters and premium options. You don't really have to mess with those, we'll just kind of hide those. Here is where you can go through and modify your particular option that you selected. So if you choose the exposure at the very bottom, you can go then and change the exposure. If you change, if you click on contrast, you can change the contrast. So all we're doing here is we're choosing a different option that we have for light and we can move the dial to basically change it. Same thing with color. If you want to change the color of this particular photo, you can change the color here and change it whichever way you want to. So you can just keep kind of scrolling through all these options down at the bottom and you can kind of customize it whichever way you want to, which is really cool. Now, if you want at the very bottom, you can also go ahead and change your other options too. If you click on the heal button, this will allow you to go and heal different parts of the photo and you know kind of change things around that way too. If you want to add text over the photo, you can click on this text button and you can start adding text over these photos. So if you want to type in like, you know, photo, whatever you want to do, it doesn't really matter. You can start adding text over your photos and that's basically all you're going to have to do. So then I've just added this text. I can move it around. Let's say I want it in the bottom like right corner. I can put this right here. You can also change the font of the text here as well. So you have that option there as well. You can crop this photo down by clicking crop. You have all these other options down here. So really the world is your oyster at this point. You can kind of go through here and choose whichever one you prefer. So there's lots of different options here. So find the ones that you actually like, which ones you like and you prefer, and you can go through and kind of customize it that way. Whenever you're done, you can click on the download button, which is the third button right here, and you can download this particular photo out. So then you can go through and you can either even screenshot this photo down or you can do it whichever way you want to. If you want to remove the watermark, you'll have to go through and either pay for it or whatever, like via premium, or you can just take a screenshot of this photo right there and do it that way as well. So that's basically how you use Photoshop Express. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.